Mooney Jade Lee here on New York's Fifth Avenue, where thousands have gathered in support of Sean Bell. They're calling it shopping for justice. Fifty. Fifty shots. They shot Sean Bell fifty times. And so, by, by changing, well, really by counting from one to fifty again and again, what do you hope to achieve? It's just in remembrance, and we're here for justice. Well, I'm a member of a union, DC 37, and we were advised that there would be a gathering to protest the murder of Sean Bell. That's why I'm here. And. What is the cause you're rallying for here today? Well, we don't want to hear and read about young people getting shot and killed on such a regular basis. Come on now. You got anything to say? I got plenty to say. There has to be a, a, a special prosecutor for these type of cases. We're tired of our kids being shot unjustly. Enough, enough is enough. When you say our kids, what do you mean? I mean the black Young kids. Black I'm not Young Korean, but I'm talking about people, black, white, Korean, anybody that's in the struggle. After Amadou Diallo, did you think this would happen again? Sure. It, we had five shootings in the last three weeks. Come on. You're shooting us. Spike Lee can't shoot this well. Come on. We need people that's going to stand for our behalf. In the white community, if something like this happens, they shut everything down. I'm not going to say that all cops are bad, because they're not. But we have some bad ones. And I think the mayor and the police commissioner know this. They just have to work and getting, you know, these cops that are no good, get them off the force, let them go do something else. This is a nonviolent protest. This is a nonviolent protest. I'm a union member, and, um, and I think that um, a lot of people that are here, we're here because we're tired of it. We're tired of saying that no more, no more, but we keep hearing this, and it, it, this has to stop. This can't continue. When you look at the American flag, what do you see? When I look at the American flag, what did I see? I see a symbol that not been fulfilled. Therefore, we have to struggle to try to make it true to what they claim to be their principles. Uh, so, because there's still a lot of oppression, injustice, and a lack of inequality, a lack of quality education, everything that it stands for, in many ways, they struggle against it. Well, I, mean, I think I think everyone in this city should pray for both the, the victim and his family, as well as the police officers. The police department is filled with good people who, who uh, make us safer every day, and that's why I think the I think the truth is is a systemic problem that needs to be addressed uh, in a much larger way. They killed the innocent man. They killed the innocent man. Fifty bullets is too much. What happened? They were drunk. That's what happened. And now they're trying to say it was a fourth man. It wasn't no fourth man. They're trying to cover up themselves. And I think they should stop that wall of silence for them two weeks. They should stop that. All they're doing is giving them time to get their stories together. But we know the truth. I notice you're here with your son. Yes, I am. What do you hope he takes away from this experience? I hope that it's a wonderful experience for him and that he sees that he has to have a voice when injustice uh, comes about in his direction. And he is a young black male and he should be aware even now of uh, the danger that he could face just by having the wrong skin color or being at the wrong place at the wrong time. And it's unfortunate that the people that participated in this were people of color, the shooters.